hello guys welcome to my channel in this video i am going to show you demo about how you can use lottie animation in dotnet mavi app here i have created one new project uh, you need to install one plugin uh, for adding uh, lottie animation so just uh, right click in your project and click on manage nuget packages and search for the this uh, skiasr.extender.ui.mavi and click on include pre-release so you can see this uh, plugin and install that in your project okay once the installation is done then here in maviprogram.cs just uh, add here use uh, skiasr so you can use the control exists in this library okay here in a uh, main page the channel I am just going to add this library namespace so I can use uh, control exists in this library and here I am just going to use skia.sk lottie view and here you can just uh, specify the source so for that uh, let me download the icons animation from this uh, website lottiefiles.com so here just search for the icon like whatever the icon you want so I'm just going to find any animated icon and just uh, either you can use this directly URL or you can download the, uh, that JSON file so let me just copy this URL and this URL you can just specify here in source here you can specify the repeat count so minus once means it's going to repeat this animation in finite time and if you specify any number then it uh, it's just going to animate that number of time now let me run the app and let's see it's uh, displaying this uh, animated icon or not okay so it's uh, displaying this animation and here if i specify like uh, repeat count to 2 and i run the application then it is going to animate it, this animation for 2 times Okay, so after repeating two times, uh, this animation is uh, stopped. Now, another way you can implement that you just need to download this uh, JSON file and add that file here in a row folder. So, let me just uh, do that. So, this animation. I am just going to add here in row folder and that I am just going to specify here in a source now let me run the application so now this animation will display from this file animation.json file Okay, so now it's displaying animation from this uh, local row folder. So that way either you can access from the URL or you can add that uh, JSON file here in row folder and after that you can use like this way. Okay, so that's uh, all for today. I hope you like this video and thank you so much for watching it.